Baba would sometimes ask me to check up on people at particular places and times. One day in Ganeshpuri, Baba called me to his room and told me to go to a particular man's room at a precise time, knock on the door, and then tell Baba what I saw there. By that time, I already knew things were, never, were seldom simple, and this man was something of a VIP, one of the ashramites who had a hands-off status. When I knocked on the door, he answered, and behind him was a much younger woman. It was clear that something illicit was going on, and he was furious that I had found out and disrupted whatever was happening. The man had no idea that Baba had asked me to come. It was always like that. Everyone assumed that Baba was too spiritual to concern himself with such things. It never occurred to them that he might have known all that was going on. People assumed I was a busybody nosing around where I shouldn't. They never realized that Baba asked me to check on things in order to teach me the ways of the world and teach them whatever lessons they were to learn. One night, there was an event in the upper garden at the ashram in Ganeshpuri. Gatherings were rarely held up there, and afterwards everybody would descend from the upper garden and cross a bridge to the rest of the ashram. The afternoon before the event, Baba told me to wait near the upper garden side of the bridge after the program and tell him what I saw there. It was pitch dark by the bridge and hundreds of people were passing by. I had no idea what I was looking for, so I just stayed alert. Suddenly, out from behind a large bush appeared the shadow of a man. He leaned out, whispered something to a passing woman and returned to his hiding place. The woman continued walking as if nothing had happened. No one else appeared to have seen him, and people continued flowing past. I reported what I had seen to Baba, and within two days the woman was sent home. The man, did it turn, as it turned out, was a worker, not an ashramite. I found myself sitting with questions. Why did Baba want me to see that incident? Did I really see it? Would I have seen it had Baba not told me to look? It happened so quickly in such a dark place that I had trouble believing it was real. But as the outcome revealed, something had happened and Baba had known it was going to happen and he had wanted me to witness it.